Good evening, YouTube. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Uh, getting a lot of rain that time of year, as you can see, my patio is holding some. Pond's still sitting pretty level, but we're supposed to get a lot more rain. So, uh, some of y'all ask how I maintain the salinity and all that. Um, what I'm doing now is I've gotten close to two inches of rain in the past two days. My salt levels are, are holding pretty good so far. Uh, oh look, blue claw crab. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, but we're supposed to get another pretty good storm tomorrow. And, uh. Then we get a break and then we're supposed to get some more rain off and on for the whole next week. So, I'm going to take you around and I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, I've said it before, what I use, occasionally, you know, I'll go haul water from the, from the ocean. But, to maintain the level... Without water changes and all that to compensate for the rain, this is what I use. Either Morton's Pool Salt or this uh, Clorox Pool Salt. Uh, they're 40 pound bags, they're six bucks a bag. And it's way cheaper than that salt you get from uh, the pets to shop. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it's the same exact salt. The only difference is that stuff was not cleaned. Or refined this is cleaned and refined but it's still 99% pure salt I looked up the MSDS data sheets on it I looked up the company and all and I found out the Morton's pool salt and the Clorox pool salt is all pure there is nothing in there that will harm these fish so all you're doing is adding the salt to keep the salinity up there's nothing being added in here that will hurt the fish at all I and mean, the, the pond the waters everything's established you have your bacterias and all that so this is how i maintain the salt level when i get a lot of rain and it works i've proven that time and time again so but now i'm showing you that's exactly what i do morton's pool salt or the clorox pool salt Six bucks a bag. And it works. It's only salt. That's how I've been doing this pond. So I hope that helps y'all out. But you can't start your pond like that. Obvious reasons. You know, you don't have bacteria and whatnot. But once everything's established... Yeah, you can maintain it with this. No problem. So, that's uh, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, if y'all choose to do it the, the expensive way, that's up to you. Me, I can't afford it. The shrimp. I can't afford to do it the expensive way. That's why I've done everything you see here. 100% myself <laughs> except for the pump and that filter and I'm not even using that filter it's on bypass I mean my skimmer built myself so yep that's it right there and I am not a representative of anybody's pool saw Clorox Morton's anybody but that's what I use so if it helps y'all out, cool. Y'all have a blessed day.